Hi friends, so we have a new layout panel and this is how it looks like. So up here you can select layouts and then below you can further customize the layout. And to make the columns and rows smaller or bigger, you can click on the numbers you see on top and on the sides. Let's say you want to make the first column wider, you can click on this upper number here, which is one fraction right now click on it and then this window will show up and then you can click on the arrows to make the column wider or bigger. You can also set it to inch if you want to set it to for example 1.5 inches. Um, you can also make the rows bigger or smaller as well by just clicking on it and then increasing or decreasing it. Now what's new is that you can also add additional boxes to the layout. Um, by clicking on one of those four buttons. So if you click on add left column, it will add your left column. And if you click on add right column, it will add your right column. Same for top row and then bottom row. So every time you click on add a bottom row, it will add your empty boxes. Now you can't add any widgets to these empty boxes. What you would have to do is you would have to click on these white empty boxes and then click on add to add a field where you can add a widget into it. So you can click on the white boxes and click on add to add to a new field where you can insert a new widget. And to make the boxes bigger or smaller, you can click on the boxes and then these arrows will show up and then you can click on one of those arrows to make them uh, longer or wider like this um, or you can also make them wider like this. Now let's say you want to make the D box bigger or let's say you want to combine the D and the A box and part of the G box. What you can do right now is combine both. So what you would have to do is click on the A box and remove it first. Also remove the G box then you can make the D box wider like this. And then you would have to go back and add a new box up here. Now, let me give you another example. Let's say you want to make the D box longer and have it take over the C box. What you would do is click on C first and remove it. And then you can go back to the D box and make it bigger. Let's say you want to take over the next column and combine the B and E box. Again, uh, you first would have to remove the E and then you can make the B box bigger like this. Now in this layout, we have an F box left. So you have the option to make it wider or extend it to the left side or to the right side, but you can't make it smaller. So every time you do want to make it smaller, you actually have to remove it. So click on the minus and then start again and add a new box like this. So this was how to create your own layouts and how you can further adjust or add fields to the layout you currently are working on. If you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook anytime and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye.